Okay, let's do this. So today I am playing solo and uh, yeah, I got a bit of a crazy goal for this wipe as I want to wall in an entire island. This is something that I have never done before as a solo and uh, yeah, I don't know. This is going to be very interesting and the island that I do want to live on is actually the one I spawned right next to. So uh, yeah, it's located at a very interesting spot. It is not small at all. It looks very good and I think there's also trees on it. So yeah, I think this is going to be one of the craziest things to do as a solo to be honest because I have never done this before. But yeah, hopefully this is going to be fun. I did get kind of lucky because I got a spawn like right next to it. And my goal is to put a base on the island very quickly. So that is the island over there. Pretty big, not gonna lie, but... I believe, I believe. Starting fresh on wipe day, this is definitely one of the hardest goals I've set myself as a solo. But I was motivated and ready to take on this challenge. Alright. Well, I kinda wanna stick around this area for now. Because I do wanna get some more cloth and in general just get some farm and maybe some components. A lot of cloth is spawning here, which is very nice. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put down a shelter down, like, up on this hill right here next to mining. Alright, nice. Oh, this is gonna be sick. This island is very big, so it is definitely gonna be interesting. Nice. Did not expect him to make a bow. I think overall, like living on an island, I don't have a lot of monuments around me, so getting enough for like a tier 1 before making my way towards the island might be the goal here. Nice. What was that jump? Nice. Oh, that was scary. Okay, that is actually not bad at all. Like, I'm actually kind of close to getting enough for tier 1. Right, let's get some components. Huge. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and recycle... Easy. Let's uh, do some quick recycling here. With the recycle run done at mining, I had enough for a workbench level 1. So with that, it was time to put my focus on the island. I also see like there's boats over here spawning, so very happy with that to be honest. I'm not able to take the horse over right now, but I am gonna make a bridge going over here. So I can take whenever I get cars and stuff. I'm gonna be taking the cars over here on the bridge. Hopefully there's not any bases over here yet, because I kind of want to live up on the hill there. So I have the high ground. And I'm also kind of hoping to like find animals. I already see a pig actually. That is actually so huge. On an island just having nodes, cloth, a million trees. Like it's going to be insane. If I can do this, it's, it's going to be uh, a very fun experience. I wouldn't be surprised though if someone like does live here. But I don't mind. I'm going to go ahead and put down my own base. The base design that I'm gonna be building this wipe is made by Dust. I came to Dust asking for a great defendable but cheap base design. And well, he ended up making a design that is now also on YouTube. I will make sure to show part of the build throughout this video, but I would definitely recommend checking out Dust's channel. He makes great designs and well, I'm definitely satisfied with this one. His channel is gonna be down below. Alright. CC is down. What am I gonna call this? Island boy. I'm an island boy, just trying to make it. I'm sorry. Had to do it. I think it's time to uh, explore my island for animals and notes. Oh my god, dude. This island is so huge and I have so many notes here too. Look at all the uh, clovers on the animals everywhere. Let's go, dude. I'm so hyped for this. Like living on an island is just... Not something you want to do on a fresh wipe server on white day. And as a solo, it's like not the easiest thing to do. But I don't know. I got high hopes for this wipe, to be honest. I've also thought about like if heli spawns here anywhere bottom right. I have it like easily. It's guaranteed. I 
I'm also gonna be making my own boat base, I think. Oh, a bear just spawned. Huge. Not bad. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and upgrade the base out of stone. And then I think I'm gonna put down some furnaces and a tier 1. Nice, whole base is stone. Nice, huge, perfect, let's go. Oh, I did not see that tugboat. Oh my god. Oh my god. I gotta go. That's the guy from the tugboat. Don't mind if I do. This is so relaxing, dude. Oh, this guy in the boat. If I go behind this one, he's gonna come for it. He has to. Oh my god, that was so close. No! No way! Oh my god! There's absolutely no way. That guy was so low as well, he gotta be. I kinda wanna make my way back. Like, I feel like that guy might even bleed out or something. I think the tugboat is still here. Yeah, I'm not gonna find a boat here. I'm just gonna go ahead and probably get some components here and then maybe head to mining. That guy's kind of geared. Three times? I've never hit a guy this many times in my life. Oh my god, he took like six hits or something. Oh! Huge, 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 huge. Alright, well, I'm gonna make my way back to my base. Alright, we are home. Let's go. Actually, I think I'm gonna go for a farm run on the island and then do some expanding. Hopefully get a ton of stone going. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get the bears and then do some expanding. Oh my god, they're all here! What is this? Let's go. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and do some expanding. Yeah, this design is insane. Overall, just for raid defense and... It's very cheap to build, and it has a lot of bedrooms. This is supposed to be uh, wood. Damn. Oh, nice. Definitely a lot more uh, action when I get further up here. So I need components and I think maybe the way to get components is by heading out in a boat because there's a lot of people in boats right now and if I can make myself a spear gun I might actually be able to get a ton of uh, components by using that. That's the guy from fishing I think.
Well, the goal was to find a boat and then found the ocean, but I already got like some stuff on me. Oh, nice. Shotgun trap as well. Nice. Not a bad run, but I definitely need components. Okay. Nice. Looking good. Already looking very cozy. I like this. Pretty sure he just saw me. Oh. Now you come here, bro. No. Oh, he's loaded. No. Come on. He's so stacked. He's so stacked. Like, this is insane. I got a deep on the boat. This guy actually had everything. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and dip before he comes back. No. I gotta go in. I'm dead. Yeah. No way. No way, dude. I don't know if I should have went in there, but I just felt like they were gonna chase me down for a while. I went back hoping that they didn't have inventory space to loot at all. And well, I actually managed to get a decent amount of loot back. But I was still badly in need of components. So I headed out to farm the ocean once again. Hopefully this time I would get back with the scrap that I needed for a tier 2 workbench. Oh my god. Oh my god, no way. I did not expect him to have that much. There's a guy there. Oh my god, that downed him, no way. No way you're right there. I had one nail left in my nail gun and I actually hit him. Nice, 800 clock. That is insane. Alright, actually not a bad run at all. This gave me a lot of components. Killed a few guys as well that had a lot, so... Very nice. I needed that. Should be more than enough for uh, tier 2. Yup. Alright, tier 2 is down. Nice. Now I can make myself a gun. And uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do some expanding to the base. So the crazy part about this base is that all of these rooms here are gonna be loot rooms. And the plan is to have a ton of garrison stores up here too. So even if they do get into second floor, I have bedrooms, which is going to be there and also behind that. It's going to be a nice looking base for sure. Oh, guy in a boat. That guy might actually be juiced. He just killed a guy on the beach as well. Got a gun. Ooh, nice, nice. That is huge. It's actually so big. Oh, he was so juiced. Huge. Oh my god, of course, dude. There's no way. There's no way there's actually a guy just sitting in my base. I gotta find this guy's base. There's just no way. I know he lives somewhere on this side. Yep, he's coming in right here. Pretty sure he lives right next to mining outpost. Yep, he does. Well, I found your base. Nice one, bro. Nice one. Yeah, okay. Imagine using admin tools 
to get here. In, bro, bro. Admin. Admin, bro. what? Bro, you fucking teleport to me. It even FPS lagging when you do it. So, as you can probably imagine, I was very confused. Apparently, this guy thought that I was using admin tools. I decided to look back in my recording, and basically, I've only killed this guy once. And well, that led to him door camming me. I was definitely not gonna let this one slide. I'm gonna go ahead and make a bridge going over to mainland. Well, there he is. He is back to door camming me again. Coming back to door cam me again for no reason at all. Like I know where his base is, so I'm definitely not gonna let that one slide. Hopefully I can just keep doing this. That would save me a lot of stone at least. I kinda need components, so maybe I head out in a boat. I do think that my main source of getting components is gonna be the ocean, because there's a lot of people farming out there. Oh, kinda boat. Nice, huge. He might have just came from uh, fishing. Oh, no way. <laughs> There's absolutely no way he had that on him. That's crazy. Let's go. I might as well go again, to be honest. Oh, they even made a tower for lighthouses. No way. Who does that? Okay, I did not expect to uh, do that that quickly. Better be loaded. Oh yes, he is absolutely stacked. Oh man, that is the second person I found and this guy also had a full inventory. This is definitely the move for someone who lives on an island because I don't have a lot of monuments but every single person that I kill have a lot of stuff on him. Oh my god, no way. I win those. Okay. Let's go. Not, uh, not bad at all. I have so much cloth now, but overall, like, this is just exactly what I need. Okay, so I think I got all of it organized now, and it's actually not looking too bad. I'm only about like 3 hours into wipe, so uh, definitely not bad at all. Have a line of cloth as well. With only 3 hours into the wipe, I was not doing bad at all. My goal for this wipe was to wall in this entire island, making it only mine. Only thing I needed for that was basically just a ton of wood. But before getting started on that, I wanted to make sure that my bridge was completed, going from my island over to the mainland. I was in need of a bit more farm to complete it, so I went back out to farm a ton of stone that I would then use to finish up my bridge. This meant that I would now be able to run over, but not only that, I would also be able to get started on a camper van. Okay, look at that, oh my god. I actually got my own bridge already as well, that is insane. I think it's time to soon get a car going because I see a lot of cars up on that road, but I do need a lot of metal to get some parts going as well, and I also want to make a car garage. Oh my god, dude, he is not giving up. Yeah, he's actually just not gonna give up, that is insane. Dumbass, oh my god. I cannot believe this guy, like he is actually such a bad player and he just continues to 
to dog camp me. And somehow I kill him again. This guy's a different player. I know where he left though, so I'm gonna keep that in mind for sure. Nice abusing Kadvin and teleporting with Kit on the back. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, give me. Give, give. I cannot believe this guy, like he is a different player, I swear. I think I know who that Revo is. Okay. Okay. Wait, actually like really loaded. Okay, so I think what I'm gonna do now is maybe uh, try and get my hands on the key cards. Overall, I need to get electricity going and stuff. So I think it's definitely gonna be the move for that. That's smart, okay. Oh, nice. I thought it was not there for a second, it was so hidden. Oh, nice. He was gonna make like a, a hemp base or something. With the green card, I headed towards sewer to get the blue card, and then I did the puzzle at water treatment. This run gave me a ton of very needed components, including all of the key cards. So after depoting, I decided to make my way towards oil rig. Scientists on the top, at least. I think I see one below as well. Let's go. I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Please. Oh, C4 is actually not bad. Like, at all. Give me like an AK or something, that would be huge. Oh, no way. I actually got an AK. That is insane. Let's go. Be something good. Okay, that's actually not not the greatest. I'll take the guns though. I don't actually mind that no counters came because I am just in need of components. Alright, not getting camped. Nice. Actually a very good Eldrick run. Crate was nothing too crazy, but I did get an AK from a heavy, so I definitely take that. Maybe I do some more expanding to the base. I should actually be able to finish the base pretty easily now. That's gonna be a battery room. Same with this. And now to the exciting stuff. And now look at this. This is gonna be the craziest peaks ever. This is the peaks right here, and yeah, they are insane. I can even, when I get windows on this, I'm gonna have a bedroom here. I got crazy peaks through that as well. Overall, this is just a crazy design, so base is basically done. Now I just need to put a few roofs on it. Oh, wow. Maybe it was just one satchel? Actually, I kind of want to check that out. Like, that is kind of close. There's a guy on the left, crouching at that base. The oh my god, that scared me. Oh my, wait. God, I'm insane.
I'm gonna go ahead and depot this. Because if they're raiding this base, I might be able to actually raid it. No way, dude. They're actually back with guns already. That is kind of insane. I'm dead. No way, dude. Why are they coming back with SARS when they had like P2 and stuff? That is so weird. That is actually very surprising. I'm gonna take this set back. Well, I think I see a guy up on the hill. Thing is, it's a very... There's another one. Yeah, they're gonna go raid it again. Three of them. One got a P2. This guy didn't even have much. No! Dude, where are these guys coming from? There's so many of them, it's actually insane. That's a second one, and I just killed like three. What? I don't even care, dude. Like, it was worth a try. I had to try that, and uh, I almost succeeded, but in a fight like this, numbers just win. Like, I didn't even get grubbed or anything, but they just kept on coming back. Damn. What happened here? Oh my god. Are these guys... What is going on? Are these guys are juiced. Why is there so many people here? This is insane. Oh, is here a car? Is that also a two module though? A three module would actually work. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this. I'm just gonna get an inventory and get out of here. First time I'm driving a car over my island. It fits perfectly here too. This is sick. I think if I put it down somewhere right here, that would be pretty good. Nice. I guess the left goes here. It's pretty good. I'm gonna take all of that off. Put this on. Alright. Well, got a camber. Let's go. Put the parts in here. So now I can have gear sets in here, I can like go outpost with stuff if I need to trade it in for something. With the camber up and running, I thought a bit about who I could raid. I had a C4 that I got from oil rig, and with the sulfur I had farmed during my previous farm runs, I had enough for one specific base. The guy that called me out. It even FPS lucky when you do it. This would be the perfect first raid, so I began crafting. Okay, that is not too bad actually. I do have a set in the camber as well, so definitely gonna help out if I do die. Alright, let's do this. If I park this like in the trees here, that might be the move. If that's the base I'm gonna raid. I think if I park it here, that might be good. P2 
Please be fast. No. I cannot believe that shotgun trap just killed me. I cannot get in, dude. I need to get in. Someone is definitely gonna crouch up and do that. No doubt. Oh my god. Honestly, there was not gonna be that much loot in this space. I headed back there in hopes of somehow getting in, but with no ammo to shoot out the shotgun trap, and with the guys from earlier countering, I didn't have a chance. But even though I didn't get the loot, I knew this guy would log on the next day knowing exactly who killed him. On the bright side, the C4 was basically free, and I didn't lose my camper van. I was in need of a bit more scrap for the tier 3 workbench, and well, I noticed that small rig was down, so I decided to make my way there. Okay, let's go. I rig is kinda far though, but... I do want to get one more eye rig done. That right there might be some kind of farm base actually. Not gonna lie, I might actually rate that when I get back. While making my way towards oil rig, I wanna let you all know that I actually started streaming a lot on Twitch. To the point where I stream basically every single day. I would love to interact with you guys, so feel free to check out my Twitch and follow me to make sure that you know the next time I'm live. Okay, oil refinery. Hopefully a solo player. Computer station is actually not bad. Oh, no way is he far from this. That's huge. Well, I guess that is the C4 back. Of course, someone is on. Oh my god, was that him? Yeah, was. This guy is just not giving up. Oh, that is not bad. A bolty and armored single door. That's kind of huge. Got a lot of stuff out of that. Nice. Honestly, a very needed run. Got a ton of guns from this, which uh, I do need, because I've been focusing a lot on the base, so a run like this was definitely worth it. I can't believe this is the second time I've gotten a C4 from my rig. Hopefully this time, though, I'm actually gonna get something out of using it. Oh, it's decaying. Okay, that's probably not gonna be uh, very juiced then. Yeah, there's a lot of notes here. I do see a base up here. Huh? No way. No way, dude. There's absolutely no way. Oh, I could rate that and store the loot, but this guy is definitely a part of a bigger team, so... I'm not even gonna risk it. If there's something I need right now, then this is exactly it. How much sulfur is that? Exactly two lines of sulfur. Look at that. I'm gonna make another door and then go back. This actually looks like a very... Ooh. I'm gonna go ahead and put one satchel on this. And then a bit of ammo should do it. Okay. Might as well get TC components. Oh, nice. That's not even bad. Like, at all, actually. 
not bad actually from uh, barely using anything. I would love to depot this to check if there's another base on the hill, but I don't think I can. I kind of want to get down some electric furnaces because I got a lot of farm that needs to be cooked. So the goal is to fill these three boxes up with wood. I am going to go ahead and get a ton of wood and then get started on this compound. I am excited to uh, get started on it. This is going to be bedrooms as well. I'm going to have two of these. There's going to be a bedroom in there. That is all of the gatehouses. Huh? Ain't no way there's someone on my island. Wait, they have guns? Kill one. There's one more left. Huge. Kinda makes me a target for these guys. They also have bags here too. It's like they're gonna live here now. This guy did not have much backpack though. Am I tripping at the this guy not? Okay, he had a Revo. There it is. Also a Revo. <laughs> a lot of charcoal, okay. Alright, nice. So the crazy thing about this is that it, this is going to be a bedroom and I'm going to be able to spawn in. And then if someone is in my main and like I have garage doors here, whatever, they blow this. I have easy access to see everything like right above my main loot so that is definitely gonna be a nice peak for uh, for rig defense okay well look at the base this looks insane oh my god heli actually spawned right next to me yeah it's literally coming straight towards my base i hit it no way Wait, how long is it gonna... Hello? What? I'm so confused. Yeah, all the crates are definitely out. Okay, not the best. Give me C4 rockets. Not the best. Okay, that's not bad. Okay, okay, I'll take this. i take this. Not bad at all. So far, I think things are going great because the bridge is completely done and main base is completely done with a compound. I also managed to do a very needed oil rig run that gave me quite a lot of guns. So I do have gear sets, but uh, yeah, not a bad day one at all. Tomorrow, I'm definitely going to be focusing on getting down the compound around the entire island. I ended day one with main base done and already a lot of wood to get started on the compound around the island. I was satisfied with the work that I had done so far, so I had it all for the night. Starting out day two, I had one goal in mind, walling in the entire island. Alright, 
Well, we are not raided. Day one was not bad at all. I just checked the stats and yesterday I found 250k wood, which is very needed because I'm going to be getting down this compound today and I want to do it very soon. So it's not going to be like a end kind of goal. I'm going to go ahead and uh, start on the gatehouses. And then after that, all I need is just walls and TCs. I'm probably gonna make a gatehouse here, I think. I see the other TC, I'm getting close. Alright, the whole entire island is now TC'd off. So only thing I need now is wood and uh, I used a lot of wood actually a lot more than expected on just the TC's. I think there's probably around like 60 TC's around this entire island so that is about two boxes of wood. Actually I think what I kind of want to do is actually try and go for a raid and then maybe I get lucky I get a ton of stone so I can trade that in for wood. Well, I guess that works. Yeah, this could be juiced. Might as well. Definitely not worth. I'm gonna stop here. There's a lot of bases here that could be juiced. That base right there could actually be very nice. Key lock though, but I bet this guy is kind of loaded. You know what? I might just hit this to be honest. This looks like a pretty good one to do it on. Okay, wooden door. Huge. Stuff dropped, so he's on. Okay. Nice. Oh, okay. TC is not actually too bad. Not the craziest, but uh, definitely not bad. A lot of furnaces here too. I assume that was uh, the only guy. Once again, I barely used anything and what they loot was nothing crazy, but uh, I take any components I can get right now or any farm. I have quite a lot of GP, so I kind of want to get down to tier 3, but I do need some more scrap, so I think I'm going to head down in tunnels and uh, probably clear that towards outposts and then buy myself a heady as well. Oh, is that a four module? I'm probably gonna go ahead and get that. Alright, tier 3 is down, nice. Let's go. Hopefully this works. Maybe I go ahead and actually rate that base that I spotted with the code locks. Because that might be a juicer. I'm gonna put it in a bush here. Yeah, this might this might actually be uh, pretty worth, hopefully. Okay. Ooh, that's actually not bad at all. Nice. Alright, well, once again, not bad. What I'm using on this is completely free, so basically everything that I get is free. Oh no. 
They're holding the camber. That is bad. Okay, no one can push it from here, which is great. That's two. I'm definitely gonna run this to safe zone just so I got some uh, extra stuff in there or uh, spare guns. With a few early raids done, I went out farming a ton of stone that I then traded in for wooded outposts. I was crafting a ton of walls, so it was time to get started on the compound. Perfect. Okay, so far, looking good. So what I just placed is 30 walls, and I have about 80 walls. God, almost there. Last wall. Oh my god. I did it. The compound is completely done. I cannot believe I managed to already wall in the entire island. Like, it's still very early day too. I got a lot of stuff ahead of me. I think in the morning, I'm gonna take the heli and I'm gonna check out the island from the sky. I'm gonna go ahead and see how it actually looks from the heli. Look at that. It's not even rendering in over there. Now that is insane. I own this entire island. Compound is done and things are looking great. With the compound done, I was able to start focusing other things. So because I still had a lot of sulfur, I started preparing for another raid. Yeah, I don't know where I'm gonna find like the best space to raid, but I think somewhere like in snow is definitely gonna be the best spot. Oh, look at this. I'm gonna raid this for sure. I wanna park this a bit of a different spot though. Right, I'm gonna do this. Oh wow, yeah, this is gonna be so stacked. Nice, huge. Red card, blue card, a lot of farm, wow. Ton of sulfur, huge. I'm gonna try and do kill spawn in the camber and uh, kill this guy. I'm not gonna waste any time, I'm gonna start transferring. live in there one more what the I got a depot
What the? Oh, it's just so many. They have nice sheets, man. I'm just gonna go. And then I'm gonna come back for the rest in that base. I do not know what just happened. I just know I went crazy. <laughs> oh my god. Let's go, dude. I cannot believe I somehow raided that base and also managed to kill an entire team. Probably more than one team, to be honest, because that was a lot of people. So everything is gonna go into all of these furnaces and this is like gonna stay on non-stop like it's never gonna turn off. Things were going great and I was ready to look for another possible base to raid. One that would be the last. But right before that I interacted with another YouTuber who was also on this server. Remember this base at Lighthouse and the guy that I killed at the start? Well this is Kelly. Yo. Oh my god. Look at this. This is insane. It's, it's sick. I, I got the whole entire thing compounded with like gatehouses everywhere, TCs. As a solo. Yeah, yeah, I've been grinding, dude. Oh like. Oh my god. Um. Dude. I, I think. Oh my god. Can you remember at the start of the wipe in the lighthouse? Where you loaded? Where did the, the guy dropping stuff in the water? No. No. Yeah, that was me. No. Dude, Dude I, I, was I didn't even get to, it back. I was literally about to quit. So basically, I had a few interactions with Kelly throughout this wipe. I was planning on going for one last raid, but first I had to scout for one. I found an online base near Mining Outpost, but I knew I couldn't do this as a solo. So I decided to invite a few friends to help me out with the raid. The reason why this raid is a voiceover is because they locked off only 5 minutes before we raided them. So there wasn't too much to show. I was happy with how this wipe had turned out, and well, it was second day of wipe so after this raid I decided to call it. This is by far the craziest thing I have ever done as a solo. And as you could imagine I spent a lot of time editing and playing this wipe to get the best possible content. So if you at any point enjoyed this video then don't forget to leave a like and consider subscribing. Thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in the next one.